Yeah, CCIE or die.com. Welcome back. This is the fourth part in this series. Uh, we're going to include DHCP this time. If you remember last time, we did VTY, HTTP, static routing, and default routing. This time, we're going to do DHCP. Let's first have a look at our network settings, properties, IPv4 properties. We'll notice if we're going to obtain an IP address automatically, we're going to expect to get that from a DHCP server. Okay. If that's not available and we haven't configured an IP address, we'll end up with IP config a nasty 169.254 address, which is described in great detail in RFC 3927. We'll let you have a look at that when you feel inclined. All right, so let's configure DHCP, config, big T. The first thing we're gonna do is turn on debug, do debug, IP DHCP server, server packets. Good. And now the, the best habit you can get in when you're doing DHCP is you'll want to exclude the addresses that you don't want to be involved in the handout of DHCP. So we'll exclude IP DHCP exclude 172.16.1.10 R1 and 15 our gateway and 20 R2. Great. Let's set up the IP DHCP server. IP DHCP server 172.16.1.15. You'll notice we're going to use the gateway, the virtual gateway in HSRP in case one of the other go down. And we'll explore that in here in a minute. IP DHCP pool. Pool. We'll call it DHCP. We'll set up the network 172.16.1.0/24, and we'll set up the default router. Router 172.16.1.15, which is also the gateway. I'm going to activate that we're going to have to release and renew here on our actual PC. IP config, let's release, and then IP config renew, and we should get some activity in our debug, and there it is. And let's double check on the binding to show IP DHCP binding and and there we have it so now we're going to involve our VPCS client which will configure for use with DHCP so let's have a quick look at that one all we have to do is run DHCP from it notice the the activity here right discovery Offer, request, acknowledge, that's what the Dora means. And you can see it, it got the 1.1 address. And we'll go back to R1. And we'll do show IP DHCP binding. And now we have both of them. So let's go to R2, config T. And we're going to set up the debug, debug IP DHCP server pack do debug IP DHCP server packets and then we'll go back to R1 and we'll go to interface F0 slash 0 and we're going to shut it We're going to go to the VPCS client and we're going to clear IP so that it doesn't 
inadvertently get a DHCP address. We'll do a show run. So we can save ourselves some typing and slime the configuration from here to R2. Copy. You notice the state change in HSRP. And we're going to want to IP config release. And then once we put our configuration in, paste, we're going to want to renew. And we have debug running. So now we want to renew. There we go. We've got some action over here on R2. And it gave us 1.2. We'll go back to the VPCS client, DHCP. And this off rec ACK, discovery offer request acknowledge. Very good. Do ping 100.1.1.1.1. Ping 100.1.1.1. And we're getting replies. And we'll go to R2 and we'll check the bindings. Do show IP DHCP binding. And R2 is now forking over the, the DHCP addresses now. So you can see it's not that difficult with, with DHCP to, to set that up. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and there'll be more to come. Thanks for watching.